Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hello, welcome. How do you feel today? Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? How is it going? Everything okay? Okay, I'll see waiting for the rest of the class. I have only seven. Welcome. And I hope that you feel really good today in order that we can start the class. Okay. Hello, Maria. Maria, 
Hello, Maria. Hello, teacher. How do you feel today? <sighs> this. Um, tired. Little tired? Yes. Okay. What about you, uh, Escobar? Hello, Escobar. Are you there? Laura is coming, Laura. Hello, Laura. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? Mm, I am great day. <laughs> With rain, live, rain, lluvia, con lluvia. <laughs> it's a rainy day in your area? Uh, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Saida is there too. Hello, Saida. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Anna Lillian is there. Hello, Anna Lillian. Yeah, hello. Ah, okay. Hello, how are you? Good. Nice, okay. Nice. <laughs> ah, eating, eating, okay. Taking your dinner. Okay, don't worry about. Okay, Wendy Maribel. What about you, Wendy? How do you Hello. feel? How do you feel today? Mm. Uh, better, better. Better than yesterday? Uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Yes. Yesterday, a little sick. I. I. Had, had a headache. Uh, yesterday, you had a headache. I had a headache, yes. Okay. And today, better. You feel better? Yes. I okay. feel better. That is nice to know. What about you, Selena? How do you feel today? Are you there, Selena? No? Okay, uh, Escobar, what about you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Very busy, teacher. Uh, I... Yet, uh, uh, I have the work, the, the, the work. Okay, you have a, a pretty busy day. Yes. Okay, Mario, what can you tell us? Right now, I'm waiting to have the class. I'm taking a, a little snack. Okay, okay. Relax, relax, sir. My dad, better listen. How is it going? How is it going? Teacher, voy entrando. No sé qué están haciendo. Yeah, we are sharing the how do you feel today? How was your day? Y ayer no entré. <laughs> yeah, you missed the class. Sorry. Okay. Maybe you were really busy. Maybe, maybe, could be, be the reason. Okay, I'm going to check up uh, the attendant because I got only just nine students today. I don't know what is happening here. We are just uh, close to finish. 
and you need to get power energy in order to finish this module too. I know sometimes it's uh, really difficult because you have a lot of duties to do in your job and even in your house. But remember that you need to get more knowledge and new experiences related with, uh, with the language. So I'm going to call by your name and you just tell me present or hello because it is late now. Okay, Adriana and Carmen is not here. I don't see, I don't see her, okay. Ana Beatriz, not here too. Hey, Ana Lilian. Present. Ahí está Ana Lilian. Escobar. Present. Selina, Selina. Selina. Remember, you need to say present. Diana? I don't see Diana. No, I don't see it. Okay. Um, Eric Orlando? It's not here. Jose Jonathan? Not here. Juan Carlos Rivas. I don't see Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Laura, Laura, Laura is here. Okay. Maria Concepcion. Present teacher. Ahí está Maria Concepcion. Maria Elena. I'm here, teacher. Present. Ah, is there? Is there? Okay. Thank you, Mario Ernesto. Here too. Present teacher. Okay, Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Ayer disappeared yesterday. You didn't show up. Saira Marleni. Present teacher. Misael. No está Don Misael. Andy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you, Jenny Suleima. I don't know what's happening with Jenny. Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia Lisset. Not here too. Okay. Well, I got I got the attendance now. Okay, I got it. Let me see how many people I, I got. Only ten. My goodness. Well, let us do it now. Okay, uh, today we are going to talk about describe the fundamental of uh, warehouse management. This is class number 16. And we are going to start talking about this. Welcome to all of you. Okay, let us start with this, uh, with this question. I invite you to, to, to read it. The first one said, what's your favorite food? It is easy to make, but to make it. Uh, what's an 
in it? How often do you eat it? Where do you usually eat it? And how healthy is it? You don't need to answer every one question. What I need is that you give me a general. Like uh, if somebody said my favorite food is pizza, it's not difficult to make it. First of all, what you need to do is this and you start explaining. What, what I want is just that you practice your speaking using um, common words. Okay. You can make a screenshot and we are going to start right now talking about this. Okay, I'm going to stop chatting. And let us start talking. Okay. I don't know, Misael, uh, you were able to get the picture? Yes, teacher, I took the description. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let us start talking with this. It's a common topic in order to invite you to participate because remember, these are the two last week of this module and you need to participate. I don't need to be calling by name in order that you participate. You just write your hand and say, okay, teacher, I'm going to share my favorite food and how I make it and how often I get it and different elements that you want to add related with this topic. Okay, tell me. I'm trying to switch a little bit in order that you don't feel kind of bored, you know, or kind of sleepy because we got a lot of information related with the topics. For that reason, I am inviting you to share your ideas related with your favorite food. Volunteer who wants to do it. In general, I like it fruit. Okay. But that's too sure. I need that you speak more uh, for your favorite. Uh, that means that fruits are your favorite uh, food. Mm, do easy to make, mm, depends. Okay, hold on a second. I need to share again the question. And based on that, you are going to speak because I don't want that you just speak uh, five seconds, 10 seconds. No, I need that you speak more than that, you know? If you are going to talk about your favorite food, you are going to take into account the following question. What is your favorite food? Uh, it is easy to make. Uh, wasn't in it. How often do you eat it? Uh, where do you usually eat it? How healthy it is. And you can start by the example. The line that I got here, my favorite food is pizza. It's not difficult to make it. First of all, what you need to do is just to prepare all the flowers and well, you know how to deal with that, you know. But I need that you take into account all this aspect and that way you are going to speak a little bit, at least two minutes. And that way you are going to show me that you are developing your skills. Okay, let us see what you have. So please hurry up because we need to see something else. And uh, what I'm doing here is just uh, opening a parenthesis in order that you can start speaking. In order that you switch the, 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 the CD, not the cassette because it's all one. Uh, so now we start starting English, we need to switch our, our uh, you know, our, our uh, mind, our thinking, you know, we need to switch it into English. And try to do it naturally. You don't need to be translating anything uh, 
in order to understand it and produce sounds. Maybe suddenly at the moment that you are reading uh, some technical term, you are going to use a dictionary, but in this case, the topic that I'm presenting you is an easy one. So please try to do it. But hurry up because time is running. If you don't do it, well, the next time I'm not gonna consider to put it and we are going to start again. Just with the, with the topic because you don't want to participate. Maybe my microphone is not working. Yes, cut it is. Teacher, other E I want, I like it is um, food Chinese. Ah, shiny um, food, shiny food. This food, for example, I don't know, a tasson, big tasson, uh, with, let's say, Spaghetti, no sé cómo se dice. Spaghetti? It is almost the same. Yes, mm -hmm. but, but, but I don't know if you got my idea. Is that you focus only just in one food, and based on that food, you are going to consider all the questions that I show you. And you are going to show me that you can organize your ideas as a... Uh, like if you are, are writing a paragraph, it, you are going to produce it in the same way. That I call it uh, oral productions. Okay, tell me, who wants to do it? Me, teacher, I try. Okay. Let us do it, let us do it. My, my favorite food is um, carne asada. I don't, I don't How do you know. say in English? I, I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> ¿Te dan cuenta con estos um, temas? Barbecue. Ah, ok, con estos temas vamos encontrando que necesitamos vocabulario. Ok, sigamos adelante, no nos desplicamos. Yes, teacher. Ok, But continue, continue. It's easy to make. Um, yeah, it's easy. It's easy to make. Um, what you need. Um, uh, Barbecue the milk, milk, milk barbecue only. How often do you eat it? Eat it. Um, how, how, oh, como. Y the answer, uh, for example, with my family is good answer. Okay, but the question is how often do you eat it? How often do you eat it? Twice a week, once a week, every day? Oh, I don't think. No. Um, once a week, week. Okay. Okay, thank oh, you. One, once uh, a month. Once in a while. Uh, where do you usually eat, eat it? In my home. In my home. Okay, you prepare it. How how healthy is it? Yes, it's healthy. And for me, it's healthy. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. 
Um, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is uh, pupusas. Okay. It is easy to make it. Well, uh, I can't uh, make them, but I guess for someone that had a lot of practice, it is easy. Okay. Um, what's in it? Well, it's made of uh, flour. Uh, it depends, beans, uh, cheese, and how often do you eat it? I, I eat the pupusas every Saturday at night. It's like, a, 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 we do it as, as a meeting for all of the family. Where do you usually eat it? At home? And how healthy is it? Well, um, it depends on, on the person who prepare that because sometimes it can be very healthy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Somebody else? Who's next? Who's next? I don't believe you that I'm showing you that I'm presenting you a easy topic and you don't want to participate. I remember other food um, like in my son um, for day um, prepare. Uh, someone miso ramen and this dish is um, maybe medium difficultly for prepare um, and I like uh, the sushi but in my family only go to restaurants uh, this tip um only in celebration because it's cheap cheap or expensive mm. it My, is cheap or expensive ah uh, expensive <laughs> is uh, expensive mm. and my family is a big family Ah, oh, you got a lot of people in your family. How many? How many people do, do you have in your family? We are eight. My eight mom, two sons, my sister, her husband, my husband, my uncle. <laughs> He's very, very people. A lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, somebody else? No? Hello? Okay, let us start the topic then. If you don't want to talk about your favorite food, let us talk about, about the topic. Here we go. Ah, Francis is there, Francis. Hello, Francis. Hello, teacher. Could you uh, share your favorite food? What is your favorite food? My favorite food is pupusa and salad. Ah, okay. And do you know how to prepare it? Mm. Yeah, pupusa only, only material, <laughs> no sé cómo se dice. Only sow, it's cabbage, but I can make pupusas. Okay. In salad, yes, I prepare many salad. Many salad, okay. okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. 
Well, the rest, maybe they don't, they don't want you to reveal his or her favorite food. Hey, teacher. Oh, hey, Escobar, tell us. My favorite food is chicken soup. Okay. Uh, uh, it is easy to make. Uh, mm. So, so. It is easy to prepare, okay. Yes. Uh, the ingredient is vegetable and kitchen. Vegetable, okay, vegetable. Uh, is very healthy. Okay. So, usually eat every Saturday. Every Saturday? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's all. Okay, let's switch with the topic. We are going to switch with the topic. We already talked about uh, this speaking activity. And now we are going to continue. Okay, remember, before to go to the next uh, slide, I would like to give you some advices. At the moment that you have uh, like uh, these questions, not necessary, uh, you need to answer every one in a, in a, in a single way. You, now, you can create a paragraph based on the question. You can create a paragraph that makes sense, that sounds in a really good way. And that way, uh, the rest of the people that are listening, they are going to understand it in a clear way. But you need to be able to do it, to give me uh, a, a, an answer, considering all the questions. I don't know if you, uh, I guess you understand what I'm saying. Okay, let us start with the topic. Okay, we have two questions here. Uh, the first one said, what would happen if the warehouse of every busy company reaches its maximum capacity? Okay, think on that. And the second one said, how would avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? We have two different questions. I invite you to brainstorm, try to give ideas, and then you can share it with me. Start to confuse the package, for example, because they have to deliver it to customers. Mario, Mario, could you repeat again the question, please, the third one, please? Because I hear it only just the last part. Do you want to re uh, read the, the question or my opinion? Oh, yeah, just, yeah, just your opinion related with the, uh, the question number okay. one. And when, when the, question number one. Um, when a warehouse has uh, reached a maximum capacity, it start to or begin to confuse uh, logistic package and delivery uh, became become inefficient because they have a lot of uh, or, or they, ha they have a lot of resource like like before they start the maximum capacity okay somebody else Maybe other option is the rent another warehouse if necessary. 
Okay, that, that is a solution. Yes. Yeah, okay. That is what you are giving us, it's a solution. Okay, somebody else said me too, I guess it's Ms. Elba. Uh, and due to the, a lot of products, uh, maybe uh, we, we can have an accident or an issue in some of the areas. Yes. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else, somebody else, take a look at this picture. That is what you need to do in order to answer these two questions. Think. Okay, I, I'm going to stop sharing. I need to see a few places, okay. If you don't have any problems, just um, try to turn on your camera. See if you can do it, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, somebody else wants to answer the questions. As soon as I show you the question, I need that you react. And your reaction has to be in, in rise, rising your hands in order to answer the questions. In a hurry, you know, in a hurry. In a hurry. Así como somos los salvadoreños, buzos, rápido, you know? I got only 12. I don't know, maybe it is raining in some areas or I don't, I don't know. I don't want to speculate about that. Okay, I'm waiting. What about the second question? What can you tell me about the second one? Teacher. Hello? In the particular case in my job, um, uh, um, what is in the stack must be delivered to participate in the project. We don't, don't can remain a long time, uh, anything in, in the stay in the, in the, where is it, the house. Um, we can uh, do this. <laughs> the things uh, rush delivery and uh, how will how will you avoid yes and the case in my job um all teams need and prepare um a schedule for delivery Oh, to participate. Okay. That is the way that they have to do, you know, they, they need to have a schedule uh, in order to know exactly what product uh, has to be delivered to uh, what the address also. Teacher. Hello, Saira. If there is a lot of product, you have to prom promote Promote. Yeah, promote. Uh, put promotion. Okay. Wow. 
what you are what you are telling us is uh, that if you have a lattice product, you need to look for in order to promote to move the product. That is what you are saying, right? Okay, let us continue. Um, I need to show you this. Uh, yeah. For the one question, teacher. Um, one, the second one. Uh, the second one, um, purchase delivery. Uh, by request, uh, in my job, uh, it is this, uh, to say purchase is compra, verdad? Okay. In my office is a department. And they needed the team's uh, delivery request and they deliver the you know, say insumos or product products in an order for uno no nunca se nunca está lleno. Oh, okay. And maybe and maybe you can include uh, like a raw material or something like that. Okay, because the second question is how good a boy overcrowding in a warehouse? You need to know how we good the boy overcrowding a warehouse. And I know that some of you got some experience related with this because in your job you do it and you apply some strategies in order to avoid a lot of products there, you know. Okay. Let us continue. Okay, in order, in order to continue, we have this conversation. It's on page number, let me see the material 25. You can find it there. Right here, Ross and Max are discussing a uh, story problem they are facing at their warehouse where uh, they hold their achievements. Read and practice the conversation. I'm going to read it. So please uh, try to. Pay attention. Okay, sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay. Any questions so far from here? Any question? No question? Or are you reading? Are you reading or not? Okay, I'm going to read again. Sir, we have received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. 
they asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to absorb this uh, shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes far. Okay, any question? Let me know now. Softly, but tell me. If you have a question, yeah, let me know. But right now, before we go to breakout room. Okay, if you need to make an screenshot, do it now, please, because I need to stop chatting. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. And I need that you tell me if everything is clear or not. Hello. Okay, let us go to break our rooms then. I guess five minutes is enough in order that you practice, right? Okay, let us do it now. Please go to your rooms. Teacher. Hello? Are you saying to these uh, dispositivos? En uno está en el dos, en el otro en el tres. Me puede no. poner dos. You're in, in the number two, say. But Mario is going to be alone. My goodness. Okay, I'm going to move it. Mm, what I'm going to do is let me see. Yeah, my is there too. Okay. Ana Lilian and Santos, Mario is alone. Mario need to move to number one. Okay, here we go. Sorry, Maria. Teacher, en el Mar tres te puede poner. Aquí estoy con Zaira. Ah, it is number three. Number three. My goodness. But Maira is going to stay alone there. Hola, 
Yo no, creo no, que no, a, a conmigo no, quizás me confundiría. Es que yo tengo dos, dos dispositivos. Me voy a quitar de este, pero me voy a quedar solo en uno. Yo no me voy a poner. ¿Por qué no? Bye. Bye. Teacher se salió a la concepción a saber qué pasó. Sí, por eso entré a ver qué sucede. Ajá, estaba y de repente ya no estaba. Desapareció. Como a mí me están fallando los datos, pensé que yo era la del problema, pero no. No. No, 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 no. Okay, let us practice. If you want, you can be Rose and I'm going to be Matt. Yo voy a ser Rose, teacher. Yes, you can be Rose. Okay. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seemed they don't have more space to store our products. Okay. That is very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation in this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to observe this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I had to leave you because somebody is asking me for help. La dejo, la dejo porque alguien me está pidiendo ayuda. Me está cambiando de todos los grupos. Por mi culpa. No. De todos los grupos me ha cambiado. Estoy iniciando las conversaciones, voy con ellos cuando ya me pasa para otro. Y ahora me dejo aquí. My goodness, what happened here? Let me see. <laughs> In the previous one, uh, do you remember the number? I was moving Maria. I don't know what happened there. I'm sorry. Teacher, de verdad me pasó, me movió de todo, en todos los... En todos los grupos. <laughs> y me dejó, por último, me dejó ahí con Zaira y, y María Elena. No, I don't know what is happening. María Elena had to do with that. It's not my fault. It's Maria Elena. <laughs> yeah, Maria Elena is the one. Yes, maybe <laughs> it's me. It's yeah, for no. me. I'm just kidding, you know. Okay, who wants to practice the conversation? I don't know what is happening. No sé qué sucede, pero de 14 se redujo a 11. Y cada momento está cambiando. You, you see, you can see how the screen switch, you know? Maybe well, Something. When go breakout rooms, um, someone's uh, out, maybe internet. Hmm. A lot of people is missing today. And I told you, and I told you, be careful because you need to have the 80% in order to pass this module. It's up to you if you fail, if you miss any session, it's up to you, you know.
What I can do is just to remember it. Okay, who wants to perform the conversation? Who wants to do it? Quien desea hacer la conversación? With Maria and Zaira, uh, read a paragraph. Cada uno. Each one. I start. Here, okay. We just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment or product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to the to a different warehouse? Mary? Your microphone, Mary. Yes, you. Yes, you. They uh, asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready outsourcing this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It's costly, but the product comforts. Thank you. Okay, somebody else? I don't need to ask you this question. As soon as you see that somebody finish, you have to say and raise your hand and say, okay, me teacher, can we do it? Well, we are going to do it in, in uh, the next, we, we're gonna be the next. That is the attitude, my friends. And time is running. Tell me, sir. Um, Annalisa. Okay. Lillian, Lillian. Uh, yes. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. That is very expensive. Ship me. Our product will get demand if they are live living anywhere. Can they arrive for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document read, ready to outsource, outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. warehouse. It, it is costly, but the product comes first. Yes, Next. Teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Carlos and, and Laura. I don't know why you need that I call you by your name, why? Right? I don't want to keep in saying next, somebody else. Okay, teacher. Carlos. Okay. Sir, we you receive a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and the same day don't have more space to store our product. 
car is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asking if we ha had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Finish, teacher. Thank you, Carlo. Applausos. Okay, in order that you can continue doing that, you know? Okay, okay, thank you. Somebody else, let me see who's missing, who's missing. Maybe because it is an easy conversation, it, uh, that is the reason why you don't want to participate. Quizá porque es demasiado fácil la conversación, por eso dicen, no, no vamos a participar. Maybe it could be that. All the pain of you. If you participate, you are going to uh, contribute in order that the class could be up to you, know. But if I ask you to do it and you don't do it, then you feel kind of boring, I don't know. Who's amazing? Okay, let me check out the, the attendance now. So please, let me do it. Okay, Adriana is not here. Adriana. Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian. Present. Carlos Escobar. Present. Selena Guadalupe. Diana Stephanie. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos, Laura Carolina, Present, María Concepción, Present, María Elena, Present, teacher. Mario Ernesto, Present, teacher. Eh, Mayra Veralice, Present, teacher. Zaira Marleni, Present, teacher. Misael, Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. And Yesenia Lisset. Well, let me see how many people this means today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Oh my god. I don't know why. Okay. What we can do? What we can do is just to continue doing this, you know. Okay, let us continue. Based on this conversation, uh, I need that you answer some questions. Okay, we have a pair of words. Discuss the answer to this question below. Number one, say so what happened to Matt's current warehouse. Question number two, what would happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stored? And number three, what does Matt do about the problem? 
Okay, you have three questions. Uh, you need to read again the conversation, but also you can think in your uh, own experience in order to answer these questions. Okay, I'm going to let you do it with somebody else. I hope you have it. Five minutes to do it. Um, maybe the answer is the warehouse. No. Okay, you are going to discuss with somebody else in the, in the breakout room. So please go there. Here we go. Si me puede poner los dos dispositivos en el dos techo. Or maybe it's more easy to down one. I shut down one. You already got uh, both of them in, in the room too, but you need to add there. Okay. You need to accept the invitation that, and, and that way you are going to be part of the breakout room.
Okay, here we go. Okay, Maya, could you read the first question, please? Could you read? And, uh, and you are going to choose the person that is going to answer this question, Maya. Okay, teacher. What happened to Matt's current warehouse? Is Wait. the answer? Uh, the answer? The warehouse have more space or products. Okay. But it's better if you say the warehouse does, doesn't have. Doesn't have a space to hold the shipments that arise today. Okay, question number two. Shalina, are you there? Yeah. It says, what would happen to the shipment if it is not carefully, carefully stored? Uh, the answer is that the product will get damaged. Okay, that's right. The, the product or the shipment, the same, will be damaged. As simple as that, you know. Okay, question number three. Let me see. What about you, Mario? You are so shy today, I don't know why. Mario, are you there? <laughs> no, no, I'm not shy. Sure. Yeah, I'm just I'm kidding, gonna... you know, I'm just kidding. No? I know. Yeah, I, yeah, know, I'm I know. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, no, don't, don't, worry. don't worry. about that. I comment. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, okay. The okay. third question, what does it do about the problem? Uh, Matt, uh, uh, look at uh, uh, another warehouse, a temporary warehouse to send the shipment to the warehouse. Okay. Exactly. Okay, thank you. Let us continue then. Ah, okay, we are going to talk about something different. Okay, let us talk a bit, a little bit about this because what I need is that you uh, try to relax a little bit. Okay, have you thought about your next vacation? Right here is the right answer to this question, but you, what you are going to do is not right answer. Just answer it in a speaking way. How are you going to spend your next vacation? The question number two say, where are you going to go? Um, number three say, when are you going to take your vacation? And number four, how long are you going to be on the vacation? And number five, is anyone going to travel with you in a general way? I need that you give me the answer, but we have something in parentheses. If you already have plans, use the be going to. If you don't have fixed plans, use will. I don't know if you got my idea. If you, don't, if you don't got my idea, just tell me. If you already have plans, use going to. 
If you don't have fixed plans, use will. For example, I can say, okay, uh, related with my vacation, I will spend it abroad in El Salvador. Maybe it could be Canada, or maybe it could be United States. If I go there, I'm going to visit some relatives. And uh, it is going to be at the end of the year, and I'm going to be there like uh, 25 days. And probably my younger daughter is going to travel with me. Okay, that's it. Now you can say. Okay, tell us. Oh, you speak English. Come on. Try to do it. But I don't want that you start reading every question and giving an answer. Every question and giving an answer. No, try to, to create uh, a single answer for all those questions. Okay, raise your hand if you want to do it. Necesito que se acostumbren a, a, a usar el icono de levantar la manito, por favor. Ahí está, mire, ya tenemos a Selina. Acostúmbrense porque um, suddenly we are going to switch module. Vamos a cambiar de módulo and maybe suddenly we are going to switch as the teacher too. Y entonces después le van a decir, no, es que el otro no nos tenía acostumbrados a levantar la mano. Okay. Selina. Yes. I'm going to answer the first one. Okay. Where are you yes. going to, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Uh, I don't know, but maybe I'll, I will travel to Guatemala. But I'm thinking because I'm going to get dizzy if I stay in a car for more than an hour. So that makes me think if do it or not. Okay. Hurry up. That is the problem. I present you easy topic in order that you participate. Ah, Maria Elena. <laughs> I am thinking um, with my sitter, always dreams. Uh, go Eiffel Tower, but it's more expensive. In my family, is a big family <laughs> uh, for this. <laughs> Maybe we use other strategy. Go to the San Vicente with a small version. And December, maybe we'll go Shella to visit and travel in the city. Okay. Thank you, Maria. I saw another hand belong to Miss Alvarez. Hey, my case teacher, I'm really sure I'm not going to be out of the country this year. Maybe I will be um, able to visit uh, La Libertad and, and Planas de Renderos. I really love those places because of the, of the views and the food too. And, and also uh, visit my relatives at um, uh, Pachimalco, that's a beautiful uh, town. And yeah, that those are my plans. 
Okay, thank you, sir. Who's next? Who's next? I don't want to be here just uh, counting from one to 1,000. So please try to do it now. Or maybe you don't want to talk about vacation. You don't want to talk about vacation, right? No, I know you are a really busy, busy man and women, you know. And maybe for that reason, you don't have time in order to think in your in yourself. In my case, I plan my vacation because I spent the whole year working. And for that reason, I need to arrange my vacation in order to relax, to enjoy in, in a different environment because I keep really busy during the whole year. Okay, anybody else? Me, teacher. Ah, okay, Mayra. My next vacation, I hope to be able to travel the United States. It depends if they give me the visa. And if not, I will change destination to Roatan. Okay. Or maybe you can travel to another country. Do you know that uh, in order to travel to Europe, after June 24, 27, I guess, you need to have an, a special uh, permission or something like that in order to get into the, those uh, countries like Spain and something like that. Mm, already got no. the, you already got the information, right? Mm. Teacher, I go cortado. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm going to make a parenthesis in español. Bien, eh, he venido incluyendo algunos temas de, de lenguaje común para incentivarlos a que puedan participar y desarrollar el idioma. Pero como se dan cuenta, ah, pues no, lo, no todos quieren hacerlo. No sé las razones. Son temas fáciles comunes y es una buena oportunidad para que ustedes puedan eh, sacar todo ese vocabulario que tienen ahí. 
pero no, no se acostumbren. Me acuerdo cuando iniciamos con ustedes, eh, que yo siempre he preguntado y he, he lanzado la pregunta, pero siempre me quedo esperando. Y alguien después me dijo, no, es que nos tenía acostumbrados a que nos llamen y si no, no participamos, tenemos que ir cambiando. Tan pronto yo lanzo la pregunta, cualquiera puede levantar la mano y comenzar a dar su respuesta. No ha terminado él cuando ya está la otra mano lista. Y así, para que todos hagamos juntos esto eh, en forma dinámica. Porque si solo yo estoy hablando, se me van a dormir. Entonces yo necesito integrar a todo el mundo. Y lo estoy diciendo en español y a colores para que eh, quede muy claro, pues. Pero veo que no, no, no tengo eh, eco en, en, en lo que digo, pues. Entonces, well, I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to, to give you the choices in order that you can uh, interact. Remember, you need to practice a lot. If you want to develop the skill, you need to practice a lot. I try to speak as clear as I can, you know? And may, maybe sometime I, I had to switch a little bit at the way how I pronounce some words in order to be easy for you to understand it. But secondly, um, I, I switch it and you say, no, I don't, I don't know what he is saying. But remember, uh, during this process, you are going to find out uh, different accent, you know. Everyone uh, has a different way how to speak. Of course, what we look is uh, to have a standard accent, but maybe um, right here is kind of difficult. But we, we, we need to try to do that, you know. And that way you are going to to look uh, better. So please, I'm not going to give up telling you that you need to practice. Okay, let us continue then if you are still there. Okay, let me see. Okay, we already talked about these questions. Some of you do it. Okay, let us continue. In Exodus of Falls for the next page, building the vocabulary. Read the definition below and match the example to the corresponding term. Who wants to read it? Warehouse management. If is the control of the day to day, operational or warehouse, such as the shipping, receiving, put away, and picking of goods. Is the same as stock control? A stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right. And warehouse management is a way to maximize the efficiency and uh, effectiveness of warehouse operations. Okay, thank you, sir. What I need is that you understand both concepts. And uh, the letter A said that warehouse management is the control of the day-to-day -day operation of a warehouse. We can live in that way. But if we need to get more picture body, we can say that as a shipping, receiving, put away, and Picking of good, that is what we call warehouse management. And the letter B, when we talk about stock control, is a way to minimize profit by getting inventory right and warehouse management 
is a way to uh, maximize the efficiency and effectiveness of warehouse operation. So in your book, in, uh, let me see the number of the page that you are going to look it up there. Let me get it here. Okay, we have it here. Page 26. The interactions I read the definition below and match the example to the corresponding term. We have two different examples here and you are going to choose which, which one is A and which one is B. The first one, it tells you where the items are in, in and the order in which they need to be picked. And the next one say it means it means you know how many of the particular product you have and when to order more. Okay, try to relate it. And you are going to tell me, okay, this is, uh, for me, this is uh, letter B and this is letter A. And maybe somebody is going to say, in a different way. Okay, let us let us do it now, please. Want to share it? Teacher, warehouse management is, it tells you where it, where the items are in and the other in which they need to be picked, picked, no, 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 no. picked. Okay, that is warehouse management, right? Somebody else? Okay, let me see. Escobar, I guess you are, you have your, your hands up, I guess. Escobar. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell us. What do you think related with uh, the, the example? Which one is A and which one is B for you? If tell us you where the item are in the the order is which they need to be picked. For me, is warehouse manager management. Oh, okay. So control is the other. Okay. Stock control, it means you know how many of the particular product you have and when to order more. That is called stock control, you know? Don't get confused with these two terms that we have here. Okay, let us see number five. The following are basic type of warehouse. Match the type of warehousing to its definition. We have three different ones. 
try to read it and then we are going to talk about it. Okay, we have uh, three different type of, uh, or maybe we can say basis type of warehouses. A holding warehouse and distribution center and cross ducking center. And what you need to do is just to identify the concept. What about number one, holding warehouse? Any idea? Is traditional warehouse was the space it uses for temporal and long-term storage. Okay, bingo, that's right. What about the second one? Distribution center. Which one? Is it serves larger region and good are storage shorter time? Most of it uses for picking and consolidation order. Okay, thank you. It, that, that's right. It serves largest larger regions and goods are stored. Shorter, shorter times. Most of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. And what about across uh, docking center? The last one, please.
Which one is the last one? Just read it. The last one is Cross Docking Center. It serves larger, larger regions and goods are stored short time. Models of is used for picking and consolidation orders. No, that is, yes. that, is that is the second one. Is traditional warehouse yes. cross docking center teacher. Is it can be named a terminal or certain center? The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little no to no storage. Oh, okay. Let me, I need to cross some line in order that you can have clear. Let me see what we can find a line here. Okay. Let me put a line here. And that way you are going to understand better. And this one is gonna be here. And this one is gonna be here. Okay. Everything is clear. Okay, I need to move a little bit. Um, okay, let me erase this line. Well, we have like a few, five minutes. Let me see if you are able to do something like the exercise number six. In pair, prepare a presentation describing the type of warehouse service that you would need to match the business strategy of your company. Okay. You don't need to, to, to do some, uh, something sophisticated. Yeah, you, you need to do is just to show us your ideas. I don't know if it is clear for you. What you need to do is just to describe the type of warehouse service that you could need to match the business strategy of your company. Let us see what you can do in a minute. Okay, try to do it now, please. The general idea.
Okay. Cross of the time, we are going to start with this activity tomorrow. You are going to have time in order to adjust to add something else. Don't worry. Let me check out the attendance now. Adriana, it's not here. Ana Beatriz, not here. Escobar. Diana. Bien, teacher, aquí estoy. Ah, I said Diana. Diana. Eric Orlando. Francis. Jose Jonathan. Jonathan is not here. Okay, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Laura. Present teacher. Okay, Laura. Maria Concepcion. Present. Okay, Maria. Eh, Maria Elena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Maria Veralice. Present teacher. Saira Marleni. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Yesenia. Selena. Present. Okay, thank you. Well, According to my list, number one is Aida Marlene Darin. Correspond one by one today. Uh, and I hope that you can uh, stay at the end of the session. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow, the rest. And try to uh, get involved in the class, try to participate. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Maria Elena. Teacher. Hello, Maria Elena. Hello. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened that suddenly uh, Maria. What is the name the other name of the another Maria? Maria Elena Guadalupe. And no, 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 no. I'm talking about la, la otra Maria. Concepción. Maria Concepción. She said that I was. I was moving her to different groups. Yes. But, but in fact, uh, 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 a quien estaba moviendo era usted. Porque usted me lo pidió. Para pero, saber. Pero no sé, por, no sé por qué ella me dijo de que, de que había estado en ese movimiento. No, no, será, no me di cuenta. O, 
o algo que sucedió. Como automáticamente empezó a generar las parejas. Vas a ver como cuando no caen, me imagino yo que el, la, el mismo programa trata de que queden pareja. Por eso es que quizás la movía, a saber. No sé. <laughs> bueno, teacher, <laughs> espero que descanse un poquito. I will try to do that, you know. Sometimes it's <laughs> really difficult because we need to read and write a lot of school and, well, we try to do our best. For and, you, and, class. And, yeah, and... And sometimes the weather has to do with, with that too, because uh, as you can see some people, they connect and suddenly they disconnect. And I don't know, maybe it's raining in, in the areas where they live. Maybe. But what, what about in your area? Everything is? In the morning, in the afternoon, um, my, my mommy say, I am... Um, go today to the San Vicente in, in, no sé, in the carretera, in the street, in the Panamericana. Oh, okay. But in San Vicente, no. Okay. Well, we are close to finish this, uh, this module. I invite you to continue reading and try to practice. If you had the chance to do it, just participate. Porque algunos que por, por lo que se hagan no quieren ellos participar. I believe it's for the hour. Yeah. Do, you it, do you consider it is maybe it has to do with the hour? Maybe it's the hour. In all of you, all of you jobs. How to do with, with, with their jobs too. Maybe okay. some of them, they are tired and something like that, you know. Maybe. Porque no encuentro otra, <laughs> otra explicación. Yeah. A ver. Pero ahí bueno. estamos intentando. Bueno, hemos bueno. tratado, hemos tratado de, de ponerle algún sabor para que no se duerman, pero como digo, siempre eso depende de la gente. Si ella está activa, la clase está activa. Pero hemos ido cambiando, integrando algunos temas que son importantes para desarrollar el speaking, pero algunos tampoco así quieren. ¿no? Sí, yo siento que hay unos que... Tienen más vocabulario, pero tampoco no, no, no lo no, usan. No, tampoco, ajá, no lo usan. Quizás tienen miedo también. Es que de repente uno le capta algunas cosas, pero ya para hablarlo cuesta ordenar las ideas y cómo decirlas. Sí, eso es lo más, lo más, lo más difícil algunas veces, sí. Bueno, pero ahí estamos en esas. Hay que seguirle dando, sí. Pero por lo menos a mí sí me ha servido bastante porque llegan de vez en cuando extranjeros y sí les entiendo. O sea, por lo menos los puedo llevar para donde quieren ir. No, que no les hable mucho, pero sí entiendo que quieren. Ajá, ok. Entonces sí me ha servido bastante. De verdad que muchas gracias por aguantarnos tantito y enseñarnos bastante. Okay, I try to do my best, but suddenly sometimes I don't get any answer. Yo trato de hacer lo que puedo, pero a veces no encuentro eco. Y, y bueno, algunas veces tengo que, que como que hacer una pausa, ir más lento. Pero de repente también aparecen otros y dicen, no, ve, ¿y por qué va tan lento si el nivel no es ese? Entonces eh, es bastante duro poder... Eh, equilibrar y poder poner la balanza para todos Sí, cuesta pero realmente que lo felicito porque si sí, hemos aprendido o por lo menos yo siento que sí he aprendido bastante pero es que fíjese que en el caso suyo yo siempre he visto que usted está atenta está practicando no tiene miedo, ahí va hacia adelante así es que se aprende pero si solo vamos a estar quietos así como algunos 
No, no, no se puede. La pasividad no funciona al momento de aprender un idioma. Yo lo comparo con un deporte que si alguien quiere ser bueno en encestar, eh, lo que tiene que hacer es, es practicar. Entonces, right. acá, acá es lo mismo. You need to practice a lot, and that way you are going to develop your skills. But thank you very much. I hope thank to you. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.